Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Brooklyn's Life. A long time I haven't posted. I know, I'm sorry. So today I'm going to be comparing the Dunkin' and McDonald's iced coffees. I was going to do a typical Starbucks versus Dunkin' comparison, but I felt like this was much needed. No one talks about McDonald's iced coffee. One, because I know it's not the best, but I was already there getting the spicy nuggets. So I thought I would make a comparison video fairly quick for you guys. So make sure you subscribe and come back every week. For a new video. I know I haven't always been the most consistent YouTuber, but I'm back. I'm here. I'm always going to post content. Um, it might not be every week on the same day, but there will be an upload. So I got smalls at each place. Um, usually at Starbucks and Dunkin', there's like a big difference between sizes, but like there isn't a huge difference. This cup is definitely uh, bigger, but not a huge difference. McDonald's doesn't label their cups, so I don't know what I'm drinking, but at both places, I just got a small vanilla iced coffee with cream and sugar or a small hazelnut iced coffee with cream and sugar. No further instructions, that's just what I gave because I feel like that's the standard because I know there are milk alternatives, but I didn't know if they, if Dunkin' or if McDonald's had that, and I didn't know how it would compare, so just plain cream and sugar at both places. So I don't know what flavor this is, but I'm just going to go for it because they don't label their cups, but... I think this was the vanilla. There's not like a ton of like sweetener, which is what I like. It's not like too sweet, but it's good. I mean, it's a little watered down because it was a struggle to find a video idea on short notice because I'm filming this at like 12 and I have to work at 3 and I want to get this edited by the time I leave. So it's a struggle. So it's a little bit watered down, but this is good. I like it. It's a little bit watered down. Like, the coffee isn't as strong. I don't know if that's because I was, you know, driving around for a little while or if that's just how their coffee is, but I like it. It's not, um, like, it's not like a cold brew. Like, it's not like you could taste the coffee, but with this, um, it's pretty good. Like, if you're not a coffee drinker and you just want a nice coffee, like, before class or something, like, not like a coffee snob or anything, I think you'll like it. It's pretty good. Um, as you can see, I'm drinking a few of it. <laughs> the only thing about McDonald's is that they don't have a ton of flavors or, like, customizable, like, options or stuff, like Dunkin' or Starbucks or any other place like that. I was trying to get, like, a caramel because I thought caramel was, like, standard and they didn't have caramel. But it's fine. Um, yeah, if you're not a coffee drinker and you're just starting to get into iced coffees or you just want one before class or something, I think you'll like this. If you are a coffee drinker, like you go to Starbucks or you make your own coffee at home. Now I'm going to compare that to the vanilla. And Duncan didn't give me any straws. It's gross. No straws, so I have to be switching straws from drink to drink. But this is a iced coffee small original blend vanilla shot with regular cream and sugar. So standard order. Yeah, Dunkin' is obviously sweeter. Dunkin' always has a lot of sugar. Okay, I had to wait for that lady to pass. That was so uncomfortable. I'm not used to filming outside, guys. I'm really not used to filming outside of my room. You guys know, like, if you watch my channel, I have my, you know, filming set up in my room. I have my backdrop that my dad made for me, so I'm good filming at home, but, like, filming outside... I'm uncomfortable, but uh, it's fine. I'm trying to do it for you guys. Keep these honest reviews coming. But for the vanilla, it's obviously it's a lot sweeter. Even though it's like I didn't add extra sugar, extra anything. This is a lot. Like the sh it's pretty sweet. I do like it though. Like there's not like a huge difference between the two. I thought there would be since you know different establishments, whatnot. But um. The sad thing is, like, I know McDonald's isn't known for their coffee, and Dunkin' is. Well, I know Dunkin's like donuts, but, like, they're, you go to Dunkin' for coffee and donuts. Like, there's not a huge difference, and that's not good. There should be a big difference because, you know, one is supposed to be better than the other. But there's not a huge difference. I don't know if that's good for McDonald's or if it's bad for Dunkin', but there's really not a huge difference between the two. It's, like, mainly milk, too. They're pretty light. Like, it's coming up lighter on camera because I'm... 
Like, there's, like, a lot of sunlight beaming right now, but there's not a huge difference, which is sad. But let's, let's, let's move to a different flavor. So I'm hoping this is a hazelnut one. Ah, uh, this even tastes like hazelnut. This one's definitely sweeter than the other one, the McDonald's one. Um, no, okay, so it is hazelnut. Like, I taste the hazelnut. It's just different from the Dunkin' or from the Starbucks ones. It's just not as, like, there. It's just, like, a subtle hint or something. It's, like, it's like a subtle hit. It's not, like, overpowering. Because I feel like when you go to Dunkin' and you get, like, a swirl of whatever flavor you're going to get, it's, like, super there. But with this, it's not. It's pretty good. It's definitely sweeter than the vanilla. Slightly watered down because I've been driving for a while, but. I think this is good for, like, non-coffee drinkers. Like, this isn't super strong. Like, you could definitely, you don't taste the coffee as much. You just taste the, you taste the milk and you taste the flavoring. Like, this is good for people who like their coffees, like, light and sweet. This is for you. Light and sweet, definitely McDonald's. But just to compare, I got the same thing. I got a small hazelnut shot, cream, and sugar. I know, like, shots and swirls are different at Dunkin'. I know swirls have sugar, like, shots with, like, sugar-free flavorings. And then swirls have sugar in them as well as whatever sugar you're getting with your drink. So this is, like, just the flavor. I don't know why Dunkin makes their drinks so sweet. Even though this is a shot, like there's no extra added sugars besides what you get with your drink. It's a lot. Like it's not that, I don't know. It's good. Don't get me wrong. Um, there isn't like a huge difference between the two. Like you don't get more coffee in this one or you don't taste more coffee in this one. It's not like a, um, it's not like a cold brew or something. Like, I don't know. I'm not like... Now that I make my own cold brews at home, now I taste a difference, and it's not my favorite. Oh my god, that's like such bad news, because that's my brand, like, iced coffee is my brand, and the fact that this is just not doing it for me at this point, like, you, you just get, like, a lot of milk and sweetener, like, there isn't, like, a ton of coffee in it, um, but if you like your coffees light and sweet, you would probably like the McDonald's one more. This one is just falling flat for me, I don't know why. Because I love Dunkin' Ice Coffees. Like, I, that's literally why I graduated high school. Like, they really held me through my senior year of high school. So it's like, how, how is this happening? But there's not, like, a lot of flavor or anything to them. Hmm. That's interesting. That is an interesting... Let me try the hazelnut one more time. I like this one more. That's bad. So, McCafe. I'm sorry. I, like, shut up every time the car is passing by because I'm paranoid. But McCafe is stepping up their game. Like, this is good. Like, I personally like a little bit more to my iced coffees. Like, I like, I want to taste, like, the coffee. Like, I don't want it to be, like, all milk and sugar. But, like, this is good. I like this. I like the McDonald's. Better than the Dunkin'. Oh my god, that's crazy to say. Oh my god, I'm shook. I can't believe that I came to that conclusion. I uh, don't even know what life is anymore. It's crazy because I love Dunkin' Iced Coffees and I rarely, rarely go to McDonald's for coffee. But I mean, now I might start. Now I might start. Um, so that's really all I have to say for the Dunkin' and McDonald's comparison. I was not expecting McDonald's to come for Dunkin's neck. But, um, that's what they did. McCafe is definitely a contender now, I guess. That's crazy, but I'm going to include them now in my iced coffee comparison videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little comparison of this little review of mine. But I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you come back every week for a new video from me. I'm shook right now. McDonald's is officially in the iced coffee game. So expect more of them on my channel. Love you guys. See you in my next one. Bye.